Hi guys, I'm here today with a short video to show you a box that I made, and this is actually the box I made for the giveaway winner. Uh, she was very sweet. She emailed me. Her name's Gloria. She emailed me and said, um, you know, basically anything is fine. <laughs> so that was kind of nice. I was able to just kind of, you know, do whatever, and, um, you know, she said she liked the, um, you know, these colors, and, and she said anything was fine. So kind of took it upon myself to make the box just how I would like it. So, um, you know, I hope that she likes it. I hope that, you know, it turned out um, like what she had hoped it would be. And I, I just had a lot of fun experimenting with a lot of lace flowers. So a lot of the flowers on here are just lace flowers that I sewed. And, you know, it's really fun to put together. There's some rosettes back in here too. And then you can probably see I've been having so much fun using the stuff that Heidi sent me. It's been like... Um, I feel like a kid in a candy store. I keep opening the drawer because I have a couple of drawers in one of my organizers um, that has her. So actually, let me see if I can kind of scoot and show you. Oh, that's a, another project you're going to have to see in another video. I don't know if I'm going to be able to show you or not. Yeah, those drawers right there, those white drawers. I have a couple of drawers that have her stuff in it. And um, I just keep opening the drawers and, and going in there and getting stuff in. It's been so fun. But anyway... So I've had a lot of fun using there's some of these crystal flowers that she gave me, and I used a bunch of those. I thought they just looked so nice with these colors. And then the fabric flowers, um, I'm sorry, that's a paper one. These fabric flowers that I added, and she gave me some of the big ones and then the medium ones, and then there's a bunch of little tiny ones poking out in different places. I thought it just gave it that wonderful, wonderful shabby chic look, and I think it just really added to this box. So I've been having so much fun using those things that she sent me. And um, when I made this, I just wanted it to be really, just really shabby chic and pretty and girly. And I used some of the Romance Novel Paper Collection. And I'm pretty sure, yeah, almost all the paper I used is from the Romance Novel Paper Collection. And that's my favorite, you guys know. Um, and I've been using it, just I've been so obsessing over it lately, just using it for everything. So anyway, this is the front of the box. And everything is um, hot glued on there. Or some stuff is set with E6000, but a lot of it is hot glued. Um, you know, especially to get the paper to curve. I have to, you know, hot glue each end. And then this is a, it's a pink rosette. It's a pink small rosette trim I had that I got from Hobby Lobby a while ago. And I just thought it looked really cool twisted in the edges. Because I went to put pearls around it and it just didn't, it didn't look right for some reason. It just didn't look good. So um, this is what I came up with was using this trim and I really like the way that it turned out. So let me go ahead and show you the um, sides of the box. Um, the first thing I did was I cut out all of the pieces that I would need for the box. The top layer, the sides, all the inside is covered. Um, you know, the bottom is covered. The bottom doesn't have texture on it, but every other sheet of paper, the first thing I did was I textured it and then I sprayed it with a couple of different mists. So every side is, um, it has texture on it and spray. And every side pretty much looks the, the same. I just wanted to keep the outside, you know, kind of simple because I wanted the focus to be on, you know, just the, the pretty laces and things. So I layered a few different laces I have. This is a, um, this is actually a new one I, I got and I love this lace. It's so pretty. And then this is just a pink lace that I had. And then this is a, uh, another lace that I got in. And I had some of it in the store and I yanked it out of stock <laughs> and used it on the box. I normally never do that. I don't really let myself take from the store. I, I set aside what I want when I first get the order, and then I don't take any more, but I just thought it would be perfect for the box, so I yanked it out. And then the bottom's just plain. I figure I'll write a message to her on there, and that's that's pretty much the box. Now, the inside I've already filled with stuff, but um, you know I just covered it with... Um, let me see if I can back up a little. I've just covered it with um, laces. And then this is just another, this actually is a paper, I think, from the Rondell collection, but it just went really well, so I used it. And then on the inside of the box, if you can see, it's more papers from the Romance Novel collection, and it is all textured and sprayed as well. Um, but there's just some laces in there for her. So I really hope she likes the box, and um, this is one of those just plain white boxes for Michaels that you get. It's not even, it's not in the wood section, it's in like the, the Createology section, I think, with the kids' stuff. And they're just a really nice size. Um, sorry, my phone's beeping. They're just a really nice size to to use to decorate, and they're really fun to decorate. And they start out white, which is what I really like because you don't have to spend the time painting it like you do the wood. 
So anyway, hope you guys liked it. And um, again, Heidi, if you're watching this, thank you so much for all the wonderful things you sent me. I've been having so much fun using them. They're in a couple more projects that I'm going to show coming up later. Um, and thanks guys so much for watching. I hope everyone had a wonderful Christmas. Bye.